There we go. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> I yeah, think it it's about the stuff. Yeah, yeah for real. Good, it won't even let me add you in for some reason. No, nah, it's all good. It's all good. Hit it now, bro. All right, bet, bet, bet. All right, so we're going to start all over, man. So, for the people that's joining okay. now. All right, so the, the GOAT, yeah, no GOAT, who is the GOAT for you? MJ, Kobe, or Braun, and then put them in order. Yep. Uh, said I went with LeBron first, uh, MJ second. Kobe third, like I said, I'm a, just a jack of all trades, dude, man. I'm, yeah. I'm always gonna rock with the dude that can do everything on the court. But uh, you know what I'm saying? Definitely big respects to MJ and Kobe, man. You know what I'm saying? Facts. No disrespect to for sure. Facts, facts, facts. All right, then who is the uh, who's your favorite NBA player again? NBA player, uh, I said to watch right now. I I wouldn't even say I got a favorite one, but like to watch oh, right wow. now is John Moran, bro. Like. You know what I'm saying? Every time I can tune into his games, man, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm definitely tuning. He's just so advanced, and then he got the athleticism too. He like a like breast two point. I don't even know. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he got real. his own game, so I'm you know what I'm saying, do doing yeah. this thing for sure. You know he gonna put on the show every time he who man for for real, for real for real. You know what I'm saying? All right, then you said Kawhi was somebody you playing your game after a lot, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just like defensively uh, and offensively, you know what I'm saying? Uh, just, you know what I'm saying, trying to do everything on the court, you, you know what I'm saying, do the win. Yeah. Then, you know what I'm saying, dude, don't even really care. Me too. I don't really care about scoring, bro, as long as, yeah. you know what I'm saying, I'm out there and opportunity to help the team win. Like, that's really what I'm out there to do, for so. sure. Okay, okay. Yes, All right, now, sure. now give me your top five NBA players right now. Top five NBA players. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. Uh, no injuries, bro. So I don't know if you no. want to throw KD stuff and uh, you know mm. you do that. Okay. Okay. Bet. So then I'm gonna go. Bron, KD. Mm -hmm. Um. Damn. Bron, KD. I'm not – I can't say Giannis yet, bro. I ain't even going to put him Ooh. in the top five. I don't even want to say Giannis right now, bro. He he got to show me something in these playoffs, bro. Like, if he if he, if he he killed these playoffs, then I'd be like, okay, like, you got me. Right. Last year, I was so disappointed, bro. Like, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? And, and granted, he don't got no superstar with him, another superstar, yeah. whatever you want to call it. But see, Kawhi did it. You know what I'm saying? He ain't really had no star. So, True. you know what I'm saying? I'm going to give Kawhi the nine right there for three. Okay. Uh, four. I'm gonna go. Um, AD. I'm. You see, I'm saying all four is. That's how we rocking. Yep. AD. Then five. Uh, I gotta throw a guard in there. Um, I either say Dame or Steph, but probably Dame. Like I said, Steph gotta show me something again. Uh, after yep. like after you know what I'm saying, being out, he coming back with his old team. So. Okay. Okay. I respect that. that. Yeah. I respect that. Uh, all right, give me your favorite basketball moment for you. Favorite basketball moment. Uh, uh -huh. That had to be my junior year of college. Uh, I was uh -huh. D2, so we was in a tournament. So you go by region. We was, in, you know what I'm saying, in our region, we was seventh. So we was an underdog, you know what I'm saying. I think we played the two seed, uh, and we ended up beating them, man. Uh, I think I had like 30. Um but really, the win, bro, the win was yeah. the most important thing, man. Like, I ain't never been – you know what I'm saying? I ain't never been – this was my first – I went to JUCO two years. It's my first year uh, yeah. playing university. So, it's like, damn, I'm in the tournament. We won the first game. We ended up losing the second round to the eventual runner-ups for the national championship. So, I, shit, it was a good season in my books. Uh, yeah. And, man, like, it was a crazy feeling. They had a seven-footer doom. Uh, I dunked on him, bro. It's on YouTube. It was crazy, oh, bro. Like man. it was, it was one, it was one of them games where like you don't never forget like that environment. We was uh, yeah, uh, at the Pentagon too. So that's like where G League teams play and stuff like that. So yeah. it's it's a it's a, a good gym, good environment. It was like crazy. So so that was a good time, man, for sure. All right, man. You gonna have to when we get off of here. DM me that link. I'm a, I'm gonna watch. I, I got you. I got you for sure, right, bro. Bet, it was bet, nice. Bet. It was nice. Yeah. All right. So what's the most points you scored in the game? Most points I scored in the game, I think that had to be I had forty two and that was a regular season regular season game uh mm -hmm. play. Like it was one of our rivals in university at the, uh at Minnesota State. So it was cool, bro. Um, you know what I'm saying? I wasn't I ain't like I ain't no I wouldn't say I'm no prolific scorer, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It ain't never been like something that I just, you know what I'm saying, tell people like, Yeah, I am a scorer, like no, nah, I do everything. So 
I like one of my favorite games though is in college in JUCO. I had a game. I scored twenty and twenty. I had twenty points and twenty rebounds, bro. It was like that was one. That was probably my favorite game. Like looking at the stats, you, you know what I'm saying? Look, you yeah. like, damn, I had twenty. Like, yeah, that was that was probably it for me. But for most points, yeah, it was like forty. It was forty two against. Uh, it was. I think that was Northern State or something like that. So it was good though, bro. It was definitely. They they it was all guards or something like that, bro. You twenty and twenty, or they was just. Uh, was like, let me get that real quick. Man, bro, it was like just whatever you could do to help your old team win. You know what I'm yeah. saying? It's some of them, one of them games where you just like energized, bro. We was playing. It was some. I don't. It was. It was a decent JUCO. It was a D1 JUCO. We was a D2. Uh, so they they was they was good, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It was one of them one of them schools. You know what I'm saying? We was ranked. You know what I'm saying? We didn't want to lose our ranking. Yeah. It was like one of them things. I think we was down a big one. Our our uh, dude from England got hurt. Uh, so I, you know, what I'm saying, had to definitely had to help rebound and just, yeah. you know, what I'm saying that's what that's what had to be done, bro. We got the win, so that was really, you know, what I'm saying, went crazy though. You look at that shit like, damn, you know, excuse my language, but you look at it like, yeah. man, you you really, you know, what I'm saying, up there like killing, bro. So that's what do whatever it takes to get that W. Man, for real, you know what I'm saying. Whether it be take a charge, whatever, it's just that's. Yeah. That's that's really always been my thing when I go out to the court, man. It's always, you know what I'm saying, bowed well for me, had gave me the success I've had up to this point. So it's yeah. you know what I'm saying, I'm not gonna go away from that, you know what I mean? Yeah, for sure, for sure. Yeah, yeah. All right, man. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna put you in the hot seat now, these next couple okay. questions, bro. All right, all right. All right, who is your favorite all time teammate? All time teammate? You all time you kinda teammate. You counted like like uh like organized or you counted everything. Man, like whichever ends. whichever, bro. Your favorite teammate you like hooping with. It could be somebody <laughs> you you know, your neighborhood homie, yeah, your yeah. college homie, whatever. Yeah. Uh I probably say my man is AJ AJ Patty he went to Joe's. Uh oh. he actually went to Murray State and then ended up transferring to school with me, my senior. Uh and then he come and play pro am with us, pro am with me. Wherever I go for real, he come play. Yeah. So that's definitely my man's bro. Uh, he a big like I just like rocking with dudes that they said like think like me. I'm gonna do whatever it takes to win the game. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And AJ, one of them dudes like he ain't gonna complain. You know what I'm saying? He gonna do what needs to be done. So yeah. definitely rocking with my boy AJ. If he if he see this, uh, he can't he can't say nothing, bro. I'm make yeah. sure I, make sure I send it to him. Like, hey, dog. You know he what definitely say? he definitely gonna put that over your head, bro. <laughs> <laughs> For sure, for sure. All right, now, name one person that you hooped against that gave you work, that made it, it caused you hell. Like, you was like, oh, <laughs> oh, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, man, it's a lot, bro. I ain't going to lie. Uh, All right, what's the most recent one, then? Most recent one? Most mm -hmm. recent one. Uh, I'll probably say um, we played – I can't even think of my man's name, bro. That, that so I gotta say somebody else. I can't even think yeah. of his name. It was at Matson, but but I'm gonna say somebody else. Uh, I had went against um, if y'all know if you know who Jamarcus Ellis is, he a uh, he an old school cat. Yeah, Chicago. He went to Indiana, bro. He he an older cat, but pro and wise, like bro. He another dude I always looked up to when I was. He about my height, six five, six six. But he yeah. did everything on the court. He definitely was killer, like killer on the uh, spot scoring. But he yeah. did everything. So I'll probably say his name Tom Tom, but Jamarcus Ellis, bro. Uh, he he, I'll probably give it to him. He the last dude that I didn't play against. Like man, I can't, I can't really, you know what I'm saying? I can't do yeah. nothing. But he just his offense better than you know what I'm saying. Defense yeah. sometimes you just gotta give somebody, you know what I'm saying, that nod. But but yeah. I'll probably say, bro, for sure. Is he is he big? Is he big or is he? he he about like six five six. He's skinny though. He's skinny, oh, okay. bro. Okay. Like he a lefty, you know what I'm saying? Like real yeah. shifty. He a uh -huh. real like, you know what I'm saying? Real bucket though, for sure, for sure. Okay. Now you play him at the pro am. Mm hmm. This the was one uh, the, the one that's going on now. Or that nah, this on? was this was a uh, Chicago pro am last summer. Um, at Madison, right? Mm hmm. Yeah. Uh, okay. No, no. This was this was the one at Or. This was the one uh, I got MVP at with uh, this one uh, EP. Uh, hosted and Evan Pryor, okay. Coach EP. So that yeah. one was at Or. That was the one that was really on the west side. That was like I said last summer. This summer we only played one team. Uh, 
which was the Africans. I mean, they got some decent players, you know what I'm saying? No disrespect yeah. to nobody, but yeah. wasn't nobody really on there giving me no fits, you know what I'm saying? We won yeah. by like 20, bro, so I wasn't, oh, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah, that I wasn't like that. Man. <laughs> yeah, so I should be asking them this about you, huh? Yeah, <laughs> so bro, I mean, you know what I'm saying? Our whole team doing it, bro. Like six oh one five three. Like, man, it's crazy. Like the the chemistry and like all the dudes. Really, we got a couple dudes that's not from Maywood, but but most of the oh, team yeah. from Maywood. You know what I'm saying? It's real authentic. Like, I really see us being like one of the shit. Nobody can. We young. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And we gonna see by the end of the summer. You know what I'm saying? But. I think we yeah. got a lot of dudes, dude. You know what I'm saying? It's 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 ugly, bro. It's y'all got a break. Yeah, y'all got a break. Yeah, yeah, and we play yeah. well together. You know what I'm saying? We all know yeah. each other, so it's like all love. It's not no like mm-hmm. yeah, we bring in a bunch five different pros on the team that, yeah. that really ain't never messed well. Tell uh, like you know what I'm saying? Play together. Yeah. Now nah, we open gyms. You know what I'm saying? At Proviso East for like the last two yeah. years. Um, man, so it's 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 a good thing going. We got a, definitely a good thing going, bro. Y'all definitely do. Who is it? You, Keith Carter, B. Mm-hmm. Jink. Who else yep. on that team with you? Um, we got B. Jink. Who, who's uh Ewell? If you know who uh Manuel Little is, Ewell. He he a pro. Um, he I, he been he stopped now though. He a little bit older, but Ewell on our team. AJ on our team. Um, we got Gage Davis. He a pro. Um, from Curry, just, right? Uh, now Gage Gage Davis. He from Bolingbroke, bro. He uh, Gage Davis. Who am I yeah. thinking of from Curry? Then I'm thinking That's, of Gage. Uh, yeah, Devin Gage. Devin, Devin Gage. Gage. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. He uh-huh. nice, but um, we got him. I'm trying to think. It's in the all oh, Pete Burns on our team. Paris Ooh. Burns. Um, we supposed to have Lil Verge coming. Uh, Alonzo oh, yeah. Verge and yeah. Jake Pullen too. So. And then we got some couple bigs, you know what I'm saying? That you oh, might y'all ain't know playing for us. Yeah, no, nah, like we, you know what I'm saying? We coming the right way. Everybody got yeah. their big guns. Everybody talking. Yeah. So we gonna see who, you know what I'm saying? Who coming the right way for real? For so, sure. Like, you know for what sure. Like when y'all yeah. next game? We play uh, Saturday at eight twenty against Rose. So y'all so, play them, y'all play tomorrow, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tomorrow uh, up at CSO at eight twenty. CSO. I don't even know what that is, bro. I could drop you the D. Uh, I could I could drop you the uh, address, bro. It's, it's the CSO Multiplex. It'll come up in the Apple. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. But uh, I'll definitely send you the address, bro. It's it's, right. it's games all day. I think from like starting at five to like I said, last game at eight twenty on Saturdays. All right. It'll be bro. decent. So you got to talk about that body you call, bro. That body you <laughs> yeah. call is all over Instagram, bro. My yeah. homie's been posting it, and you. I mean. Why you first of all, why you dug my man like that? <laughs> Secondly, why you body bump my man like that? He got mad and chilled you. I'm like, all right. Yeah. So talk yeah. about talk about that body, bro. How that how that come about, you know what I'm saying? What was going on? Mm-hmm. Uh just really the floor game, bro, sharing the ball. You know what I'm saying? When when yeah. you play with a good team, bro, it's so easy to, you know what I'm saying, show show your you know what I'm saying, your your best attributes for real. Yeah. So uh it was just, you know what I'm saying, they were swing. I think Keith came off a of pick and roll. He swung it to B. Jank. B. Jank was hot, so my man came off the corner to B. Jank. I said, as soon as he left me, I cut, you know what I'm saying, from the corner baseline. He made the pass. I don't know. I think – I don't know if he threw it between his legs. I don't know how he got there. He kicked it, you know what I'm saying, bounce pass. Uh, I just went up. I seen dude at the last second, real talk, you know what I'm saying. I seen him at the last second, bro. I'm like, damn. So I jumped. I was kind of mad that he jumped, bro. I ain't, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, that was real, just like adrenaline, bro. You know what I'm yeah. saying? I don't got no problem with dude or nothing like that. Everybody yeah. can ask me, like, damn, what dude do to you? Like, he must have fouled you. Like, it's just that like, adrenaline, nah. bro. You like, yeah. Ooh, you know. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So that's just what it was, man. But, yeah, bro, just, you know what I'm saying? Good teammates. That's really how that shit happened, bro. Just making that extra pass, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Helping somebody else glow. That's really – that was for my man's B. Jank. B. Jank was hot. He could have shot the shot, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I would have been mad. He hit like four, five, six threes, you know what I'm saying? So, but, uh, like I said, made the extra pass and shit, you know what I'm saying? The rest was rest was his uh, own Instagram history. So. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Uh, what was I finna say? Y'all won that game, right? Yeah, we ended up winning by like a dub, I think. Oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? They, yeah, they, 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 be, like I said, it's team decent, but we, should we really trying to play like, you know what I'm saying? The, the, the dynasty, that's like one of the best teams they're going to have, like Keeper Sykes and a couple of other pros. Uh, Rose decent. They got Malcolm Griffin from the city. I don't know if you know who that is. Uh, from High Park. 
Um, we gonna see, bro. It, yeah, oh yeah, bro. It's it's a lot of it's a lot of good names, bro. I think you should definitely come slide through. You know what I'm saying? Dude's, oh yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna be there tomorrow, bro. I definitely be yeah. trying to catch a good game. I was supposed to go. They having some uh some runs out there in Deerfield right now at uh Birdo Center, but I ain't feel like uh-huh. making I ain't feel like making that ride, you know. Uh-huh. But tomorrow, though, you know what I'm saying? If I I'm definitely probably gonna slide them. I gotta see y'all who. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Because Keith, mm-hmm. Keith, that's like big bro. You know what I'm saying? He okay, my, okay. With my older brother for AAU, and we was like, yeah. you know, shorty. So, you know, so definitely, okay. definitely okay. come through tomorrow. Okay. Yeah, definitely, definitely be a good time. And, and you know what I'm saying? Hopefully get that win. We think yeah. so. We're going to mm-hmm. see. But, you know what I'm saying? We definitely came out the right way first game. We're going to see yeah. how the rest go, man. It's it's good, though. We giving, you know what I'm saying, the city something to white live basketball, bro, with everything yeah. going on. It's good that we got some, you know what I'm saying, positive, nothing bad happening, you know what exactly. I'm saying, there. It's yeah. good vibes and, and just, you know what I'm saying, do, doing what we love. Everybody watching what yeah, they love, doing what they love. Exactly. Just ball, bro. That should bring bring so many people together. You'll be, you know what I'm saying, be surprised, bro. Yep. 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 All right. Now, uh, so this question, I kind of like to change it up because the way I worded it was kind of kind of off. So, um, like, was there somebody that you ever played against that was, like, not not had you starstruck, but had you like, I right, bet, like, come on, come with it. Like, I'm gonna play him. He got hype behind mm-hmm. him. He ranked or whatever the situation may be. Or he a pro. <laughs> like, I right, bet, like, you know what I'm saying? Now yeah. it's time to it's time to come with it. It's time to who? Yeah, real talk. Uh, I probably say, uh, one of the Pargo brothers. I was still in college, bro. This was yeah. uh, my sophomore going to junior. We played uh both of the Pargo brothers actually was with Shot League, bro. Played both of them, bro. Like I was, it was crazy. And then D Rose was side base, you know what I'm saying, on the sideline, like front front court or whatever you want to call uh-huh. it. And man, it was just like crowd was packed. You know what I'm saying? I think yeah. Barry and them just this was them when like Draymond and Barry and them was coming through. Oh so, yeah, like you know what I'm saying. I was I was definitely starstruck, bro. You know what I'm yeah. saying? I think I had a dunk or two, but man, I was so nervous out there, bro. Yeah. Uh, I ended up coming around, you know what I'm saying? Once you kind of get loose and just into the flow of things, we definitely yeah. ended up winning the game too. So yeah. it was good, but but yeah, like it's after that though, I ain't really, you know what I'm saying? I definitely faced some pros. Uh, I seen Barry out there, you know what I'm saying, before. Um, it's like multiple, bro. But once you kind of, you know what I'm saying, get used to it, just like yeah. man, this is we we all human beings. We all go exactly. to the, the same way. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We all do. So it's like. I give my, you know what I'm saying, give respect to whoever I'm out there with for sure. Mm-hmm. But it's like, hey, bro, I'm I'm the same way. I tie my shoes exactly, like you bro. tie your shoes. Exactly. So it's like, hey, we for yeah. the hope, you know what I mean? So yep. that's just my approach when I'm when I'm out there for sure. Okay, respect, respect. Right, right. Um, you got a favorite coach? Favorite coach? Oh man, uh, probably. Man, I got a coach. He was he only coached me for one year. He actually mm-hmm. had um. Wisconsin, uh, U- UWM, so Milwaukee, University of Wisconsin, Milwaukee. He over there yeah. now. He played pro for like eight years in Germany, top league. But a uh, big white dude. I ain't really – it was my sophomore year. I ain't really know how to feel because uh, our coach before him was a black dude. You know what I'm saying? I ain't going to lie. Yeah. I related more to him. We was kind of yeah. mad that he left. But yeah. dude came in. His name John, uh, Coach Bowler. He was he was cool to say, bro. Probably one of the coolest dudes. He cooked for us all the time. Yeah. All this extra stuff. So, like, he definitely was, like, solid, bro. And kind of, you know what I'm saying, helped me get better, even better and know what to expect, bro. When when you got a coach that played pro, I you know what I'm saying I respect any coach, but exactly. when you got a coach that played overseas, like they kind of really get your mindset, like, hey, this is what you do every day when you over there, so like, why not do it now? You know what I mean? Yeah. So yeah, that's how I really, bro. Like my game went like leaps and bounds, really going both summers, like every summer, bro. I think I it was better and better. Um, and just kind of getting my mindset ready and, and, and the work that I did, you know what I'm saying, was more advanced and, like, just kept progressing. And, you know what yeah. I'm saying, always stick to the basics, like shots and stuff like that, but challenging yourself in the gym because, shit, once you perfect something, you know what I'm saying, it's so much easier in the game and all that. So, and then, you know what I'm saying, strength and conditioning, getting your vert up, like, yeah. for sure. So, I shout out shout out Bowler, man. He, he was definitely one of them dudes. For sure. Um. You got a favorite dunk or a favorite highlight play? Favorite dunk? Um, 
Man, I'll probably say on that seven footer I talked about earlier on yeah. uh, on dude. Um yeah, that was that was nice. Um man, but I had so many, bro, over the year. Yeah. Like that's kinda what I'm known for to be honest. Like A little I only like yeah, it's kinda like, man, I I like doing that shit, but like, you know what I'm saying? I like definitely making sure everybody know that like, you know what I'm saying, I'm just not limited to that. But yeah, but definitely on dude the seven footer, like that was that was crazy. I didn't even think I was going to catch him, but, like, I definitely did. I got it up uh, there, so it was like, damn, man. That was definitely a good feeling, so I'll probably say that one for sure. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, so talk about talk a little bit about, like, when or how, how did you fall in love with the game? You know, like, how was it – you know, how was you brought to the game? Okay. Uh, so my brothers, for real, was Hoopers. Uh, you know what uh-huh. I'm saying? When I was younger, they was in high school. Uh, and I really wasn't rocking with ball. Like, I played football more than I played basketball. This was like seventh, eighth grade. Um, then when I hit high school, for real, that's when I fell in love with it. I was working out uh, with this coach. His name, Bo Flowers. His son actually went to Illinois. Mm-hmm. Uh, he kind of told me, like, hey, you got to figure out what you want to do. And football, I really wasn't feeling it no more. And I kind of started I played basketball more and more. And it kind of just, like, hit me. Like, man, you know what I'm saying? My brothers was hoping, like. It was probably just made for me, and I started working more and more and kind of got better. Yeah. By about time, like, my sophomore year, I was dunking and everything. Now, I was like, man, that's really when I was like, okay, like, this is, you know what I'm saying, this is something I could definitely do. You know what I'm saying? Practice was cool. All that stuff was cool because you got to fall in love with that type of stuff, bro. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? You can love basketball. Anybody can love it. But, like, when you when you fall in love with getting better and, like, really working out and stuff like that, that's when you know you, like, dedicated and actually like something, bro. Because you can, like I said, watch basketball all day. But if you don't want to go and, and run goddamn <laughs> miles and, and dribble a basketball over Man. and over again and shoot a, a thousand jump like – you uh-huh. really don't, you know what I'm saying, love it as far as playing-wise. I mean, obviously, yeah. you know what I'm saying, other, there's other aspects of it. But as far as, like, playing, I definitely fell in love, like like I said, around, like, sophomore, junior year. That was that was the time. Okay. So yeah. you said you played you play football. You know, I know. How tall are you again? 5'6", five, 5'? Five? Yeah, about 6'5", yeah, yeah. So, sure. you know what I'm saying, how tall was you when you was playing, you know, football, you know, to now? So I know if you 6'5", playing football, nine times out of mm-hmm. ten, you probably going to play, like, receiver. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Something like mm-hmm. that. So what position did you play and, like, when did you kind of hit your growth spurt to be like, you know what I'm saying? Because now, you know what I'm saying, if you see somebody 6'5 walking down the street, you're going to be like, oh, he a Uber. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, like, <laughs> sure. what well, yeah. people, like, when you when you got your growth spurt or whatever, you was playing football, did people approach you, like, you know, come try this, you know what I'm saying, or mm-hmm. here, you know, hoop with me and stuff like that. So, like, just talk yeah. about that. Yeah, for sure, bro. That's kind of like all I heard when I was younger. It's like, why don't you hoop? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I was never, I was never no short dude. You know what I'm saying? I was, yeah. I was always like kind of pretty much the tallest of my class, or like around the tallest. So, um, uh-huh. people always ask me that I hoop, and you know, like I said, I did it for fun, but yeah, it was never like, about it. yeah, it was like whatever. I'll do this. All my friends was doing it, so I'm like, I might as well. But um, uh, when I hit my gross, I hit my gross spurt by like. Like, my real one, I hit it in college, bro, so I wouldn't even say, you know what I'm saying? People was like, man, you should, you know, and then I stopped after my, well, actually, I stopped my junior year and my sophomore year, I stopped playing. I'm like, all right, I'm going to just cut this off. I actually ended up playing my senior year, too, um, yeah. just like I said, kind of for fun, bro, and kind of see yeah. what would happen. Um, you know, experimental stuff, you you never know, you know what I'm saying? You're high school, you just, you never know, but. Exactly. Um, it was fun, though, and, and I had, to, you know what I'm saying, I had a good time, but football just wasn't, you know what I'm saying, the three-hour yeah, practices, yeah, yeah oh, the helmets. Man. Yeah, it wasn't really – and the games, you know what I'm saying, football, I would still love watching football games, but, like, yeah. the process of everything else is like, nah, I'm I'm yeah. straight. I'm, <laughs> just, <laughs> I'm straight. Oh, man. Okay, um – so, like, for you, you know, what was something between – the difference between high school ball and college ball? You know, like, the experience for you, was it, like, a, a culture shock to you? Was it something you kind of expected? Was it, like – because a lot of my homies that who, you know, and they played college ball, they was like, man, bro, I wanted to quit. They said the prices yeah. be so extreme. You know what I'm saying? The, the lifting, the two-a-days, three-a-days sometimes. Mm-hmm. So, like, for you, how was your experience between, you know, going to college, you know, after playing high school ball? 
Yeah, uh, I probably I probably say it was it was a shock for sure, bro. Um, uh-huh. It was times definitely where I'm like, man, I don't, I definitely want to quit. Like, yeah. but I really credit, uh, as I said, both flowers. He was he was he was at a uh, his son went to Illinois. His son actually came back and helped as well with football and basketball. So he was putting us through those type of things, bro. Like, yeah. uh, we was I went to a small school, but like our program, like as far as, like, strength and conditioning, like, was so good. You know what I'm saying? It prepared me for, like, everything in front of me. Mm -hmm. Um, When I got, like I said, when I got to JUCO, it was definitely tough. You know what I'm saying? And But but I was, like, like I said, I knew what it took to get to that point. So I'm like, man, it it, it sucks. But, like, I could be at the crib, you know what I'm saying, not in school. Like, I didn't have the best Mm -hmm. of grades. Like, I wasn't no, you know what I'm saying, wasn't no, like, F or D student, but I wasn't no, like, academic scholarship kid. Like, I would have had to pay for school. So it was like, I just really was blessed, bro, and and never took advantage of, of, you know what I'm saying, what I had going on or what situation I was in because I always humble myself, you know what I'm saying, from where I came from, hooping-wise, to now, like, it's it's leaps and bounds for real. So you got to... I said, be be humble, cause I was at the bottom of the totem pole when it came to hoop. You know what I'm saying? I was a dude yeah. that was that was garbage. You know what I'm saying? You wasn't getting picked when you was going to the gym. Like yeah. that shit hurts. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But it, at the end of the day, like those are good learning experiences, cause I like you know what I'm saying. Not to even both, but like you one of the first people getting picked now. Like and it's you know what I'm saying. You you know what it feels like, bro. So it's like I I, I can't I don't never like try to be cocky or nothing like that because yeah. it's not you know what I'm saying. It's not even worth it, bro. You know what I mean? You got to be humble in this stuff, man. Because you can get you can get humble so fast, bro. You can be bro. up here and yep, somebody you knock you down quick. so you know what I'm saying so fast, bro. It's 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 crazy. So just being humble and, and like you said, knowing what, what type of work, you know what I'm saying? Knowing what you're going to get into and, and, and being yeah. prepared is for real. That's, that was always key for me. So that's, you know what I'm saying? That, that's it. Okay. Respect, respect. <laughs> yes, sir. But, all right. So now this question, I actually sent it on Facebook. All the hoopers yeah. were kind of like button heads about it. So <laughs> for you, <clears throat> if you could take five players from Chicago mm-hmm. and you're going to play street ball for money across the world against other five, what five from Chicago are you taking with you? If you're gonna include yourself, give me a six, man. <laughs> I'm a, I'm gonna give my. I ain't even gonna include myself. I ain't okay. Even include myself okay. on this because we talking about we talking about NBA players and everything, right? Yeah, we talking about okay. anywhere from Chicago. Uh, yeah, yeah. So I'm gonna go Will Bynum. He old, bro, but he's still a bucket. And I'm I don't care what you say. You going to you play the street first ball? You say Will Bynum, bro. Yeah, you need Will Bynum on your team if you're going to play a street ball game, bro. I'm yep. sorry, like that's just period. Right. Uh, I probably say K Nun at the two. Ooh. Um, who who a three from Chicago right now? I can't even think. Uh, you could go with Bari. You can go with yeah. I was gonna put Bari at the four and then AD at the five. Yeah, so I say Bari four, AD five, and then I'll do another guard. Um, what's the cat? Um, I don't even want to say him. He young, but man. I'll say it. T. Uh, his name Taylor. Taylor Horton Tucker. You know, dude that play on the Lakers. For the I'll Lakers, rock with though. Him. Yeah, I'll rock with him, bro. I'm yeah. I'm gonna pick him. I'm gonna go with him for for my fifth man. I. Who who what was they saying? Who else? You know what I'm saying? What was some fires that you had seen? People were saying, uh, everybody was going with Bari. Uh, mm-hmm. People was doing Jalil in there. Okay. People was doing Bo right in there. I forgot about Bo. Um, who else was people doing in there? People was doing like D Rose, D Wade. Mm-hmm. Um, okay. Yeah, like I think who I just have. I had somebody they was doing like Javon Carter in there. Okay. P yeah, P yeah. P Lee in there. You know, mm-hmm. so I I heard it all, bro. I was yeah, like, yeah. somebody see Jeremy Richmond in there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Jay so Rich was, was Jay Rich still be hooping. He cold, yeah. but it's yeah from where he was. It's like damn, like yeah. That's but that's like I said, bro. Being humble and, and being mentally prepared for certain situations. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He got all. He probably still got all the talent in the world. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. No, I'm not going him. But as far as like the potential of like, man, this dude should like potentially a number one draft pick. You yeah. know what I'm saying? That's just. That's to come along with the journey, like to still be hooping and probably hear all that critiquing, bro. Like salute yeah. to that dude. But yeah, I probably maybe throw D Wade in there instead of Taylor. But say if we if we playing street ball, I'm getting dudes that's gonna dunk on you, that can yeah. shoot threes and gonna put gonna on make the you show. fall. You know what I'm saying? I'm yeah. going with them cats for sure. For sure. Okay, okay. 
Uh, for you, do you think AAU has somewhat of a negative impact on the game of basketball? AAU, um, it depends on the program for real. I think that yeah. it all starts with the with with who's running it and, and who you you know what I'm saying who you learning from. Cause I know a lot of like one of my AAU coach, like I still talk to him to this day. He was a uh -huh. great mentor for me. Like now I'm saying if you you talking about the play style and like you know what I'm yeah. saying how can you kind of get a little flashy and stuff like that. Like that your confidence yeah. and all that stuff. But that's 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 a good thing though, I think, for, for kids to be able to play free and kinda like show them yeah. I would say even show yourself kinda like what you can do. You know what I'm saying? You don't have those same restrictions that a, your high school coach might have, you know what I'm saying? Cause some sure. dudes play for them them stubborn high school coach, you know what I'm saying? I rest in peace Ping, but I'm sure like yep. Ping didn't let um like oh, what's his name? I can't even think of his name right now, bro. He went to Nebraska, but like he's Glenn, a but you yeah, Glenn, bro, like, you know what I'm saying? I think I went to a couple games, and he was rocking out, bro, but I've seen him, like, hoop and, like, yeah, right, like, just, you know what I'm saying? I hoop with him just recently, bro, and that nigga's, you know what I'm saying? Like, he's yeah. really, like, on a string, like, he show, he got a game, you know what I'm saying? He got a game yeah. he can really show out, so it's really, uh, I think it's a good opportunity for most kids now, you know what I'm saying? Some programs are a little, you know what I'm saying, yeah, but you no, know, just, just hey, running gun. You know what I'm saying? No yeah. type of system, no type of structure yeah. behind it. Yeah, but that's that's where everything. I think like the peace jam stuff is good though. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's good exposure for kids. Um, it's good. Like like I said, that's the most important thing with AAU is is college exposure. It's not yeah. really for for you to you know what I'm saying showcase or like get your IQ. I don't know. It's, it's supposed to, you're just supposed to get better, bro. It's, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Basketball, you get seen by coaches. If, if AU wasn't around, some kids wouldn't even get exposed, you know what I'm saying, to what they yeah. really should be. You so. drop 30 on the top 10 player, they're going to start yeah. watching you. So it's yeah. like, hey, rock, you know what I'm saying? I think AU is right where it's supposed to be. Um, and okay. Keep it going for sure. Okay, okay. Um, Give me your top <laughs> five Chicago rappers. Top five Chicago rappers. Um, let's go. Ooh, man. <laughs> oh, man. I'm gonna throw, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say number one and Polo G for sure. Okay, so I gotta say, I can't rate them, bro. I'm gonna just throw them out there. Just give me five, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah, I gotta give you five. Yeah, let's go. Polo G, Dirk G, Herbo, um, Kanye, and I'm finna throw my homie in there. My name, my man's Austin Two Glides, bro. He he cold. He finna pop. I promise yep. you. In that next year, bro, yep. he gonna pop. You know what I'm saying? Mark my yeah. words. I say we gonna record. I'm gonna screen record this. Let him know. Hey, sure. I, I said it. You heard it here first, but for sure, but yeah, send me some bro. of the music too, bro. I'm check them out. I got you. I got you, bro. We definitely gonna do that. Um, you know what I'm saying? A lot of talented dudes out here. And, yeah. and shout out whoever, you know what I'm saying, grinding for whatever you want to do. It's, you know what I'm saying? It, it, it sucks sometimes, you know what I'm saying, yeah. trying to be a creative, or, you know what I'm saying, a hooper, whatever you want to call it. But at the end, you know what I'm saying, it's worth the journey because you're doing what yeah. you love to do. And, you know, you know what I'm saying, you your own boss for real. So, yeah. you know what I'm saying, keep going. I, mean, I respect you too, bro. Those, these type of things, like, bro, we need, you know what I'm saying, we need yeah. this. We need dudes that's that's really, you know what I'm saying, out here finding people that, you know what I'm saying, that might not get recognized by the huge outlets, but but yeah. still, you know what I'm saying, deserve some yeah. recognition, bro. So, one, sure. you 100, bro, for sure. Appreciate it, bro. I'm just, like I said, mm -hmm. I was just talking. My last interview, I had uh, Elliot Cole on here. Yeah, and, you know, yeah, We yeah. was talking, and he was just like, you know, we was DMing back and forth after the interview, and he was just like, you know, I respect what you're doing. I'm like, bro, I'm not doing this to be, you know what I'm saying, to get recognition for it. I'm just mm -hmm. trying to help get everybody's story out there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because yeah. most people, they might see, oh, yeah, like, he in the pros now or he in mm -hmm. the D1 now, but they don't know, like, the, the trials and tribulations most go through that they yeah. don't see on the, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So yeah. I'm like, it ain't even just about that. It's just about me, you know what I'm saying, connecting with people mm -hmm. and just pe and getting people's story out there to motivate the youth. That's all I'm trying to do, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, like I said, I appreciate you, though, bro. Yeah, respect, bro, respect. Um, all right, give me your top five all time rappers now. All time rappers, all time, bro. Oh, all right. Uh, I'm gonna go. 
Jay Z. I don't listen to I don't listen to Tupac and Biggie. I listen to him, but I don't listen to Tupac. And Biggie. So I'm not. I'm uh, on the 90s babies, but okay. I'm not going to say them because hey, I really don't top listen. Five. Yeah, this top my five. this is my top five. So I'm okay. saying Jay Z. Um, I got Nas up there. I okay. got um, we gonna go newer now. I'm gonna throw a uh, Lil Wayne in there for sure. Right. Um. Damn, four and five. Wait, that's that's three, right? I need need two more. Yeah, two more. Uh, I would say right now Drake, and then mm -hmm. um, and then one eyeballed cat I listen to is Andre three thousand. Andre three thousand, one of my he like he People like my vibe. Up. You know what I'm saying? Definitely yeah. his lyrics too be crazy. You know what I'm saying? He can yep. he really so he really versatile. So I yeah. definitely respect Andre three thousand and music he make. It's crazy. So yeah, shout outs to, to all of them, man. Okay, yeah, I go with I always go with Pac Hove. Okay. I'm say Pac Hove, Wayne, Kanye Nip. Yeah, okay. That's what I go okay. with. You know what I'm saying? Must yeah. be tweaking on Kanye, you know what he got going on, but I'm like, you gotta put that to the side oh, yeah. about what he did, you know what I'm saying? His catalog, yeah. you know what I'm saying, the music he made, produced, you know what I'm saying? You gotta put all that in consideration. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah is a goat, bro, for sure. Huh. Like off so, off off production and you know what I'm saying from yep. that aspect like you making your own like beats too yeah that's so it's so hard to do that bro like to do both and, <laughs> and, and tell the, you and, the, and the, the way they was discouraged even Jay Z was telling him, like nah bro I don't think you should rap just keep making beats he like nah, For real? I'm gonna do both like yep. he took off bro so it's like persistence you know what I'm saying is in the right opportunity you can do whatever you really want bro so. So, oh yeah, yeah, for sure. Yay, yay is definitely up there for me too, especially from Chicago, bro. Like graduation, exactly. yep. come on, man, drop that out. album, yeah. legendary, bro. Yeah, all autumn. You know what I'm saying? Even up to yeah. now, like those is definitely not like. You know what I'm saying? I ain't rocking with that. Hear. I ain't rocking yeah. with that, like, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah. You definitely don't want to hear it, but it's like, man, I, I, I understand because he's just trying to stay relevant, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, he, like he, 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 like he don't think like Jay Z. Like Jay Z, like I'm a rock with what I sound like, and I'm gonna keep it going. Like, yeah, yeah. like one of them dudes. Like, nah, they gonna think I sound the same and da da da. Like he really like in his own head, but. I definitely don't rock with the new guy. <laughs> Man, this dude is tripping, bro. Like, <laughs> it's always something. You know what I'm saying? He yeah. gonna run for president. Then he not gonna run for president. Then the comments about Harriet Tubman. I'm just like, yeah. man, you know, I, that dude, man. I, hey, bro. And then it's like we in a time like we need to get awareness about voting and like and what's yeah. going on. We don't really like, and I understand everybody go through their own thing, but bro, can it can't it wait for like you know what I'm saying a couple more months? Like, hey, we trying to. We trying to change like what's going on around us. Like bro. we're not worried about talking about some president. Like you taking you just taking attention off like what's really the problem. Yeah, like, man. Nah, that, nah, we, we definitely don't need that right now. Just yeah. like with the Will Smith and Jada Pink and stuff, like, man, bro, they y'all get so, you know what I'm saying? Y'all so gullible, you know what I'm saying, mm -hmm. believe anything, and y'all taking off the attention about what we really need to focus on about what's going on in the world. Exactly. But hey. You would expect vote. more. Yeah. yeah. You would expect more out of them. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. Just some. I mean, like, Kanye, like, at this point, I under, like, whatever, bro. Like, you just going to keep doing whatever you want for attention. But Will and, yeah. Will and Jay, it's like, y'all seem pretty conscious of, of things. Yeah. But, but, man, like it's everybody got their own stuff going on. So, I, yeah. I guess, you know what I'm saying? But but at some point, you got to definitely be held accountable for what you're doing. That's like, that's not good right. for us, man. No. For as a people, man, gotta yeah. do better. Gotta do better. Thanks, man. All right, so any what's up, some advice you would give the younger generation that somebody gave you that really worked for you and helped you know what I'm saying guide you to to now? You know, mm -hmm. some advice that you would give them. It could be you know about life, about hooping. You know, any advice you would give the younger generation? Yeah, um, I would really say just learn from every from every bad situation that you encounter, bro. Cause like. While we going through life, you're going to definitely experience good moments, but, like, yep. I, you know what I'm saying? You're going to experience more bad than good if you're going to be, like, if you're going to go down this type of path, like, yeah. hooping, you know what I'm saying, whatever, like, being creative, like, 
really doing your own thing, you're going to always experience L's like more times than not. But really just learn from them. Don't let them get you down. Um, and just keep pushing forward because like, there's always going to be something good, you know what I'm saying, after the work, after the work is done. And, I mean, the work don't ever stop, but, like, yeah. you're going to keep working and grinding and grinding. You're like, damn, ain't nothing happening, nothing going to pop. But, like, just keep working. Something's going to happen for you, you know what I'm saying, yeah. definitely going to, you know what I'm saying, mess up and, and take some bad falls and stuff like that. But just keep pushing and, and, and you'll really, you know what I'm saying, something's going to good is going to happen, bro. You're going to get blessed. That's that's for sure. Just Facts. keep putting the work in. Facts. Um, all right, so my last question. I kind of hit know. you up already about it, but who is the guest you think I should have on here next? Guest? Um, you said you already had LBJ. Um, i like to see P. Lee on here. You might have heard that already, P. Lee. No. Uh, I think he I wait for somebody. Really I wait for somebody to plug me, man. I just told like two, or three people, hey, man, plug me with them. Yeah, tell them to hit me on my own. This follow me out yeah. inbox. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I definitely, I definitely reach out to him too. Uh, because Peely got a crazy story too. I mean, he was right. always good, but like, bro, yeah. I remember hooping with him in AAU, like when we were shorties. You know what I'm saying? So it's uh-huh. like when we was freshmen in high school. So. Um, seeing him from where you know, what I'm saying from there to up to now, he, I think he got like player of the year when he was a senior in his conference and all that yeah. stuff, bro. Like that's that's incredible, bro. And to especially be like, like I said from Maywood, yeah. And, um, you know what I'm saying? Be from like a town. We we smaller, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. like, just like the amount of talent that come from out, bro. Like even him, yeah. be jank, like keep bro, all them dudes, like. Seeing that Sterling, all them, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It, it's so many, bro. It's uh, go keep going down the list. Even the younger cats now, like yeah. you got Tyler, you got uh Boo Man. That's another oh, cat. You might uh, Boo Man and Tyler, bro. I can definitely put you in tune with them. But Man. they got some, they got some nice stories too, bro. Um, and 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 need to be heard for sure. You know yeah. what I'm saying? We all come nice. from this little same area. I think think they might be, you know what I'm saying, from out west. I don't know, but they went to east, so it's like, hey, yeah. you know what I'm saying? That's that's like, bro, that's that's a crazy, crazy, like, pipeline, bro. Like, mm-hmm. how are we having, like, so many hoopers? Like, we almost competing with the west side as far as even Chicago in a whole, like. Yeah, y'all with, almost with competing with Simeon, to be yeah. real, bro. Yeah, yeah, so it's you like, know. man. They, they, uh, they, Simeon definitely, you know what I'm saying, got the, got Ken, Kendrick K. Nunn right now, you know what I'm saying, but. Yeah. But like and Jabari, we got Sterling and Javon, so it's like we, yeah. you know what I'm saying. I ain't saying they up there, just like you know, but they still yeah. there and they in the league, so it's like yeah. hey, we gonna see. But but definitely, bro, definitely got a lot, definitely got a lot, bro. Bet, bet, bet. But yeah, bro, if you can definitely plug me in with them, bro. I've been, you know, what I'm saying I'm not too familiar mm-hmm. with them, so like. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? When I reach out to them, you know what I'm saying? I'm probably ain't going to get no rest. You know what I'm saying? But Understandable, bro. Definitely, definitely want to get them on there because, you know, people have been suggesting P. Lee and, and B. Jinx. So, I'm like, mm-hmm. I bet, you know. I actually try to get – uh I try to get Vaughn, too, you know, but he all focused on the bubble. You know what I'm saying? Stuff like mm-hmm. that. So, mm-hmm. but, yeah, so I'm definitely, bro. Like I said, I'm going to DM you once we get off here right now. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? We're going to, you know, right. talk it up and all that. But, uh, like I said, I appreciate you, bro, for joining me. You know what I'm saying? It definitely, you know what I'm saying? You definitely dropped a lot of game. You know what I'm saying? The people got to know about you. So, like I said, I appreciate you, bro, for real. Hey, yeah, love, bro. You know what I'm saying? Definitely do whatever I can. You know what I'm saying? Help expand yeah. it. Like, man, you can even do yeah. live at the, at the, you did, at the, you know what I'm saying? Nice. Uh, after the games. But yeah. definitely we'll chop it. Like I said, we'll chop it up, bro. I appreciate you again. And like I said, we'll talk in a minute for sure. All right, bro. All right, Be bro, safe, bro. bro. Yeah, you too. Right. You too.